It always goes by too fast. Just yesterday, it seems like these seniors were the new guys. Nurnshine fires, scores! His first as an Indy Lion. Yeah, we are a family. We're with these guys 24 seven. We're with these guys more than our families. Uh, we, we're like, we're the closest group. I say this every year, every team I've been on here, it's just the closest team I've been on. I've never been a part of it, something like this. Towards Brandon Byro, turns the leg, back door, feeds Stevens, fire, scores! Alex Stevens rings it in! You're, you're in a locker room with your best friends, and these guys are gonna be the guys that are gonna be in your weddings, whenever that comes. And that, that really hit home, like you're really here with your best friends at all the, all the time, and I'm just gonna miss the camaraderie and being with the boys. What a feed by Tim Doherty! But an answer for Penn State as Tim Doherty pokes it in. I'm able to get my master's uh, at a school that's the number one alumni network in the world. Um, you know, the social aspect of just being a, a Penn Stater is, is something I'll have for the rest of my life. And then last but certainly not least, to be a part of this program is something so special to me and my family. High slot shot, Bell scores! What am I gonna miss the most about Penn State? Besides everything about it, um, I'm gonna be—I'm just gonna miss showing up to the rink, seeing the guys, seeing the trainers, seeing Ben, our equipment manager. It's the small things that I'm gonna miss. See you. Why do I love Penn State? That is an endless list. First and foremost, the guys in the locker room for the past few years. It's been unbelievable. They're all my brothers and, and it's really a, a family mentality within the locker room and all the staff that help us um, day to day. Uh, there's, there's a lot of different aspects that I love Penn State, but it's definitely a home for, for me. Doherty for half court out from Lamont, he scores! Alex Lamont deflects it in! Penn State in overtime! Hi everyone, this is Alex Lamont with the San Diego Goals. Off the face, off a shot blocked by Lamont, didn't even phase him. And now the Goals have a three on one back the other way. Lamont leads the rush, he'll shoot and score! Goals get a 3-2 lead. Alex Lamont, his first pro goal. And you're watching the Penn State Hockey Story. Coach Guy Godowski is just, uh, he, he's amazing. I mean, the energy he brings to the rink every day and uh, the belief he, he has in me coming in here is really special. One word I would describe him as just a character. Everything about him is something else and that's what, he's a really good guy off the ice and on the ice, especially when you're outside the rink and you run into him, he's gonna, he's gonna chew your ear for a little bit, see how classes are going, see how your family's going. He really cares about you and that's what I really respect out of him. One thing I've really noticed uh, from the time I've been here is he really cares about all his players, um, which I think is really cool. Whether or not he knows you well or not, he um, he really cares for you, and um, he just seems like a very charismatic, selfless guy who loves hockey. Uh, I would describe Coach Godowski as a very positive, outgoing person who's always energetic around the rink and excited to be with the boys, uh, whether it's on the ice, off the ice, or on the ping pong table. Coach Kodowski is a great guy. There's never a time where you're nervous necessarily to go up to him and talk to him because he has such an open relationship with his players. He's done a tremendous amount for me. I mean, um, anytime you have a problem or an issue, he's, he's right there in your corner. Coach Kodowski, uh, he's the best coach I've ever had. I can tell anyone with a straight face right to their eyes that he's the best person, best coach I've ever played for. Um, he's the reason I came. He's, uh, every time I kind of got a little down on myself, he somehow seemed to re realize that and give me a tap on the back, but he's, uh, he knows what he's doing and he does it really well. And it's the best coach I could play for. How positive he is. Um, no matter when you mess up, uh, he's there for you. He has your back 100% of the way. Um, he's always positively reinforcing you no matter what. Uh, whether you make a mistake or mess up off the ice, like he is there for you. Um, and I just think that's the coolest thing about him. Guy is an unbelievable person and like a, he's a player's coach for sure. He understands all of us and he wants us 
to do the best we possibly can and he knows exactly the buttons to push or what each player needs to get the most out of them and I, 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 don't, I couldn't see myself at a different school. Best coach I've ever had in my life. I can't say too, like, enough good things about the guy uh, on and off the ice. You know, he's, he's always there to have your back when you're off the ice and when he's on the ice, he's always gonna push you to get better. I mean, I can put an example. Yesterday at practice, I, uh, you saw I was struggling on my strong side one-timers and at the end of practice took me back and we took about 50 of them. I mean, I was dead by the end of it. <laughs> but, uh, you know, it just shows how much he cares and the comment at the end of that was like, you know what, we keep working on this. Hopefully this, you know, works out in November and you get a big one. And, you know, he's, he's always there. He's always looking out for you. Um, he knows every single guy on this team on a personal level and that's something that, you know, a lot of coaches don't do. And uh, yeah, he's a special coach. That's basically all I can say. I think they'll come out fast tonight. I really do. But you know, this is the highest goals against the average number in since 2014. That's wild. Yeah. That's a good stat. That's a good stat. We got to keep this pretty quick. Okay. That way we can make sure we're out of it in time. All right, Ryan, have a good broadcast, bud. And tonight in South Bend, Indiana, the Penn State hockey team makes its much-anticipated return to the ice. The first game in 34 days as the Penn State team. Yeah, it really has been a, a new challenge this year to do games remotely and, and to try to do them off a monitor. There, there's really really no playbook for this because it, so many of us haven't done it before, and certainly Brian and I haven't done it before. So. Well, I think in a pandemic, still having the opportunity to broadcast the game and do it safely has been a, it's been a blessing. And certainly with everything that's going on, we're, we're happy to still have the opportunity to broadcast games. But it's really different when you're not in the arena, especially for these games on the road. When you're not around the team, you don't get to interact with the players and the coaches, and that's so much fun. That's part of the job that I enjoy. Uh, it's fun to be around them on the road, and then we can share some of those personalities, the nuggets that we pick up from being at a practice or, or at a game. Um, those are the things that I miss the most about not being on location this season. In order for me to be really value added, I have to be able to see the things that happen away from the puck sometimes. And I gotta be able to see you know, when line changes are happening. If a guy's caught out of position, maybe it's not in the frame of the camera. And when you can't, it, it's definitely uh, a challenge. I think one of the great skills of an announcer is being able to think on your feet and reacting to whatever is thrown at you. Things aren't always going to be perfect, whether it's equipment, a sight line, uh, there may be things that you can't pick up during a game. So this has just been another obstacle, another challenge to test your versatility. And I think it's made me a little bit more comfortable when setting might not be perfect. So I've learned to adapt a little bit more. 235 into this opening period, a far point shot by Penn State, score! Blasted in, top shelf from the far point! And Penn State has a 1-0 no, lead! No. Mason Snell with the goal for the Nittany Lions on a shot from the far point. High glove on the netminder, St. Cyr, his first of the year. And welcome back, Penn State Hockey! I think subconsciously I've tried to be a little bit more energetic in my calls this year at home. There is no replicating game day at the Gula Ice Arena. So you miss the roar of a crowd. Uh, you miss the pandemonium that you have at Pagula on a night in, night out basis. And, and it's not the same. It's the, the lifeblood of sports, it's fans. The intensity of the game is still there, but it's it's not the same without the fans this year. You know, we have a great relationship on and off the ice. We play off each other really well uh, when we're doing the broadcast, and hopefully that comes through to the listeners at home. But for me, you know, I, I do my best to kind of match his energy, whatever he's giving off, I elevate to match that as well. And it's really just about finding the energy to match what's happening on the ice. And without the fans, it's uh, something we really have to be more uh, conscious of. And I know there are things that I'm missing that I would typically see when I'm at a game. And I'm a perfectionist, so it bothers me. But I hope that it comes across that we're still energetic, we're still informative, and we're still able to deliver the nuts and bolts to the fans what's going on during the course of the game, even though it may be a little bit different this year. And I hope fans at home are enjoying it because we do have the opportunity still to be a conduit to the action, even though they can't be here. And man, it's not the same without them. Big Ten tournament, uh, if we win, we play tomorrow. And then if we win that, we play the championship on Tuesday. If we win that, we're going to the tournament. So, gotta win today though. So, if we lose, we're out.
A lot of stakes. Penn State had a difficult end to their regular season, going over a month without playing due to COVID-19 protocol. The rust showed a week prior when they were swept by Notre Dame, the same team they would face to start the Big Ten tournament. Oh, we got the biggest game of the year today. The team they had faced more than any other in Penn State's short history. When you go through something unique, that is something that could potentially put you down and you come out on the other side, that adds to character. The same character that it takes to win pucks. Those guys that win playoff games. Okay, that's fact. The fact is that the young men in the locker room knew how good they could be. And even though they weren't at full strength yet again, they wanted to show something to the national television audience. But Penn State was in a hole early. Lansdale drags, slots the backhand, audio reaching, he can't make the save, shoveled in, backhand, top shelf, glove side, two to nothing, Notre Dame. Penn State's game has been forged by the coaching staff since day one. Aggressive forechecking, creative offense, and always at the top of collegiate hockey in shots attempted and goals scored. Lamoge dancing out front, shot, score! Alex Lamoge stumbling down! The play was ruled off sides, so the Nittany Lions kept scratching their way back. Audio sealed the cage with help from his friends and a freshman got them on the board. Back in for another chance off the bar! And they're gonna look at this. Shot, and that one hit the bar! Came right back out, Sarlo from the far circle. We've got a stoppage of play. Was it a good goal? The period changed, but the determination and creativity did not. Support nearly got it across the Irish line. Now he does, pokes it towards the slot, reeled in wall, tucks it, McMenamin, tight angle shot, he scores! Tie game, tie game! Penn State had erased the deficit and was forcing Notre Dame to play their game. Relentless, frenetic, and effective. Even in a year of obstacles, the freshmen were looking like they have taken huge strides. Following the lead of sophomore Kevin Wall, who scouts say may have improved more than any other player in hockey, and this back check and pass is a perfect sample. Bubble, stretch pass the other way. Big Benjamin, break away. For the lead, and he comes, Dangles, he scores! Now they spring it ahead, McManaman gets around the defense, he's void in, backhander, and he scores! What a play! Limoges and Penn State were slipping past the Irish. Limoges looking for a trailer. Now Muscles down below the near ring out front. Doherty scores! Limoges carries in in front. They score! Right on two. They change that. And then cash in on the man advantage. Alex Limoges, he's so good around the net. Notre Dame pushed back, but the Nittany Lions stayed true to their game, keeping the puck in the fighting Irish's zone. At Penn State, freshmen and underclassmen always play big roles. And that's why the future is so bright. But it is also the unsung players like Tyler Gratton who might not show up on the score sheet. But sacrifice everything they have to make plays for the team. Those are the players that win pucks and coaches love. Out front, loose, snaking into the slot to the back. Yes, now in tight, McLean, he scores! Chase McLean! Stuffs it in atop the crease. Five to Nindy Lions. 
Freshman Chase McLean provided some insurance and Arnie Talavidi supplied the guts as Penn State played one of their most complete games of the year with their backs against the wall. Now a shot down the length of the ice, bullseye! Penn State scores the empty net goal, 6-3 Nittany Lions! It was a game that these players deserved. One year to the day of the scheduled Big Ten semifinal here against Minnesota last year at Pagula. Penn State lost all that experience, 101 games of Big Ten tournament experience, 10 players, tons of points. It was a year that, although didn't end up with the results desired, may have been one of the coaching staff's best. Just one year from winning the Big Ten regular season title, no one outside the locker room may ever understand what was done for Penn State by these players, coaches, and staff. And as players move on to the professional ranks, as leaders in hockey and in life, there is a satisfaction in knowing that the process never stops, that Penn State always means family. And even though it was only physically their home for a few years, it will always be home in their hearts. What does Penn State mean to me? I think I could go on for a couple hours about that, but uh, simply it's been my home for the past four years and I've made unbelievable connections and friendships and memories that will last a lifetime and that I'll never forget. Um, I've even turned into one of those crazy people who yells we are at you um, when you're walking down the street with something Penn State on. So uh, I never thought that that was going to be me, but here I am. I love everything about Penn State.